Well, my name is Danielle Denise. I'm a soprano and I sing internationally all around the globe. I think that I am a kind of performer who has only ever operated under the uh, ethos that performing is a whole body experience. Um, I always say that you never, your voice is in your neck, but you never sing from the neck up. Um, I feel that being in a theatrical experience is incarnating a character who should live inside your entire being and our body, our face, eyes, all the language that we can use externally is part of the makeup of the character. I think it's very much a part of who I am as an artist and it's also, a, it reflects my training. I did dance training as a child in addition to singing and counterpoint, music theory, piano. Um, <laughs> so I've, I've been enveloping myself in all performance uh, aspects for such a long time. They're very integrated for me and I don't, I don't turn one off to do another. I should think that people probably see that in my stage performances or that's what I've been told, but it's hard to know what it's like when you're in your own body. I mean, you're telling a story and in the moment you're, you're giving everything of yourself. The character becomes you. I mean, that's how I feel anyway. The character becomes me. I am one and the same with my character. And so the life of what happens to the character is what happens to me in that moment. So that is my utmost priority. Um, the work that I do on my singing, on my voice, on my technique, and all of the craft that goes to performance creation has already been done. And the only thing in my mind on stage is telling this story as if it never happened before. One of the great moments in my career and a major milestone uh, was 2005, uh, my debut at Glenburn Festival as Cleopatra in a new David McVicker production of Giulio Cesare. The show has become an iconic piece of theater in the opera world and beyond. And I think that, I mean, that's the scope of the success of the piece. And I was thrilled to be a part of it. And you get, you get those moments, you know, one, once in your career. You're lucky if you get to have those really stellar moments where you and a role and a show and the music and everything lines up and the stars line up and the cast is amazing and your colleagues all come together and everything just aligns and becomes this magnificent success. And Giulio Cesare was that moment for me. I think because I started at such a young age, I have always been a rather unusual person to represent opera. You can imagine a 10 year old going out to do educational performances at schools in Los Angeles, so that was me. Um, and the kids being my age or maybe even younger than me. So they were really not expecting to have a kid telling them about classical music. Um, and in a way, that's my greatest strength in a way. That, that, that element of me is very much um, what I embrace when it comes to talking to people about classical music. I want to get my generation, younger generations, uh, excited about music and excited about theater and the live performance um, and recordings and everything that classical music can bring into your life. <laughs>